Okay, we're going to look at mask layers and masking in photo and just explore what we can do with them. So let's pick an example that is perhaps older than time itself. I'll just move across to the layers panel here and go to file place. And then I'll choose a sky image. And all I'm going to do is just click drag over the image like so, then release the mouse and I've added a sky image layer. Now then, I'm going to just hide this temporarily and select the initial background layer and I'm going to use the flood select tool and click drag to make a selection of the sky. Then I'm going to select the image layer, turn it back on and then I'm going to choose this option here to add a mask layer. Now instantly we should see what's happened here. I'll just go to select and deselect to get rid of the marquee. What we've done is added a mask to that image layer. So if we hide the mask we'll see the castle disappears and then if I turn the mask back on we're now hiding this area of the sky image thereby bringing the castle back in. So you can see the shape of the mask on the thumbnail here. One little trick we can also do is to Alt or Option click the mask and that will give us a black and white representation of the mask. We can simply click anywhere else to return to normal. So just by masking it we can selectively show or hide parts of a layer. Now let's look at something slightly different. When it comes to manipulating images you'll no doubt be using quite a few adjustment layers and maybe even a few of the live filter layers. So let's look at a few ways of masking and selectively applying those types of layers. For example, let's say I just want to saturate the sky and nothing else. I can pick up the selection brush tool. Let's choose a larger brush width and I'll just brush across to select the sky. I needn't worry about refining the selection too much, this will do. Then all we need to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and HSL adjustment. Now notice the thumbnail here is telling us that by applying an adjustment whilst we have a selection active we've already masked it. So just to prove this if I then start to increase the saturation you'll see only the sky is being affected. I'll just get rid of the marquee by going to select and deselect and so that's one way to mask an adjustment layer. And at this point I'll just clarify that adjustment and filter layers inherently have their own masks. So there is absolutely no need to add a separate mask layer to them. Let's use another example. I'll go to layer, new adjustment layer and brightness and contrast adjustment. And I'm going to use this to really bring out the water detail. So I'll set brightness to say 50 and contrast to 75 which gives us some nice deep water, but it looks ugly on the rest of the image. So if this adjustment already has a mask, that must mean we can invert it. So making sure we have it selected, we can go to layer and invert. Okay, so now it's not being applied at all, but then we can pick up the paintbrush tool here, take the hardness down and increase the width like so. Then across on the colour panel we want to make sure our active colour is white. Then we can just paint back onto that brightness and contrast adjustment layers mask like so until we're affecting the water. OK, again we can see the little thumbnail here which is giving us a rough idea of what the mask looks like and again we can Alt or Option click to expose the mask in black and white form which we can also edit if we wish like so and then once again clicking anywhere else on the layers panel gets us back to normal. Let's do this approach one more time so it really sinks in, but this time we'll use a live filter layer. So I'll select the background layer, go to layer, new live filter layer, unsharp mask filter, and I'll drag the radius to 100 pixels to enhance local contrast. Then, as before, I'll select the unsharp mask layer, 
go to Layer, Invert, and then we're going to paint the effect back just over the buildings in the background here. like so. And I'm able to do this because I've still got the paintbrush tool selected and I still have white as my active colour. So there we go, masking in photo can boil down to two approaches really. If you're masking adjustments or filter layers you don't actually need to add a mask layer at all, you can simply paint on and off their masks or invert them or you can simply add them when you have a selection active and they will be masked to that selection. If, however, you want to mask pixel layers or image layers, then you do need to add a separate mask layer, which is done using this option here. So there we go. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.